screaming. Lovely. Now that that little problem is out of the way, we are live on YouTube. At least that's what it tells me. Hooray. Hooray. We're now live on your channel. I wonder if... Uh, ah! Hey, Carl, Fucking I said the bloody word 15 fucking times and you still couldn't get it bloody right. I nitro. Oh, as in nitroglycerol. Nitro. Fuck it, I don't feel like changing it. Nitroglycerin. You're on your own, party. You're on your own. I'm done. Lakara, how's it going? She says hello, guys. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. I, I can't even... She says hey, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but speaking of fucking sports anime, here's an old one that was sort of done in the similar style. I think it was done by the same cunts who did Speed Racer. But like back in the eighties when there was this like fucking life be in it kick, they released a cartoon called Sports Billy. And god it was shit. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Like, everybody's going to watch it because you're getting into sports. And it sucks. Uh... Um, where is my thingamabobber? Oh, there it is. I wonder if I can change the stream name live on, uh, on Facebook. Yeah, I think I can, actually. Let me... Um... Yeah, okay, here it is. Oops, nope, that's copy and pasting the stream key into the stream title. Nobody wants that. Update information. There we go. Your changes were successfully saved. I doubt it will show up on Facebook though. I doubt it will. How is Lakara tonight? Are we having a good night? Because, uh, I'm going to get to building this model. Now that everything is situated. Uh, what was that show called, Party? I'm sorry, I was not paying attention at all. Of course you weren't. <laughs> yeah, it was this fucking cartoon done in a similar style of fucking uh, Speed Racer okay. called Sports Billy. Okay, so it was a racing show? No, it was about this fucking kid that was great at every single fucking sport, and like, the only real fucking episode I remember is that he went to the Olympics mm. to play handball. So he was a Gary Stew. Hey. Look, guys, I figured out how to lay out my stuff so that it is easily accessible. And look, I even have my nippers at the ready. Aren't you all proud of me? Can't see them there. You got your shirt on. Oh, alright. Let me just. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm going to scare all three people watching off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Uh, so I need B30 and B31. I wish I could B30 or 31 again. Womp, womp. <clears throat> Where the fuck? Okay. I'm going blind party. Well, I have an update on me, uh, me Southeast Asian tiger stripes that, I'm, that I ordered from that really suspect fucking Facebook site. Yeah. Probably not going to get them. Why would happen? Pro I'm probably right. I probably wasted 160 fucking bucks. But remember, this was 
the whole objective of this operation was to see whether this was a fucking legitimate bloody website or not anyways, and I was what expecting them fucking called? getting Hey? What website is it called? Militaryfirst.com.au Oh. But I did, did a little bit of digging, and the first things that come up when you fucking Google it is, where are they located, and are they legitimate? And it's like, oh, that doesn't sound fucking good. Yeah, that doesn't so, fill me with confidence. So it does say that they are an actual registered company in Manchester in the UK. And I came across a, a site that was um, like for reviews and stuff like that. And it was a bunch of fucking sookie cunts fucking going, Oh, then they're based in the UK. Oh, if I knew, then I wouldn't have fucking got anything off. Anyway, fucking. Then there was this one other person that had. A little bit more information that he finally did receive something after waiting like six fucking months or something like that. Wow. He's like, it's imitation stuff. It's falling to bits and everything like that. The stitching's really crap. And it's like, yeah, I know it's imitation shit. That's what I was kind of expecting. Am I going to get my shit or not? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, I think would be the proper answer. The 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 answer you should uh, expect. Spaghetti sauce <laughs> everywhere. Uh, why is there spaghetti sauce everywhere? Makara says there's spaghetti sauce everywhere. Why is it? I don't. Do do I have some somebody's been eating her care? spaghetti? <laughs> don't spaghetti your uh, opinions there, Doku. I can't help it. God, I'm going to hell for that pun. I'm going to hell for that pun, aren't I? You think the pun is the only reason we're going to hell? I mean, I'll save you a seat at the bar when I get there, but... Yeah, I suppose. Well, it's all, of course, if I don't get their first takeover and be a cunt, shut all the bars down. Oh, okay. Just to be sadistic. Well, I mean... Hell is a dry county, right? Put sauce in a too hot pan and got burned. Oh my god. Ouch. Ooh. Dude, are you alright? Lakara burned herself on uh, her sauce pan, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, that's that's never fun. It is not. That sucks, dude. Um So I'm going back and rewatching uh I'm rewatching two or three shows right now. Um and if you're on our Discord, I've been uh, airing random uh, uh, marathons, doing all-night marathons. And that's been uh, kind of interesting. Uh, Farty asked me the other day if I was uh, <laughs> if I was still watching the the same thing over and over again. I don't remember what was playing. Do you remember what was playing, Farty? Was it was it Zoids or something? Yeah. Yeah, so it the the Zoids Genesis isn't a bad show. I think it's an okay show. Um, I just figured I'd do something new for the for the server because people, you know, people are there. Why not? And if I have access to it, why not share that access? Oh, I need C. I need C thirteen. That's not too bad, shit. Oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, it's not as potent as C4, though. Wow. It's funny how they never get that term right. It's actually PEC4. Well, they call it C4 because, you know, abbreviations. Plastic Explosive Composition 4. Yeah. Or right. Class 4. So this goes in how? This goes in this way. No. The dot is there. Contrary to popular belief, if you set it on fire, it won't explode. That I did know. You can actually cook your food with it. Yeah. Well, if you cook it in a tin or something like that, you right. don't really want to like make toast with it. Yeah. Get all sorts of nasty but shit. I you bread. do farty. Come on. Why are you shaming me? <laughs> she says she's kosher. Okay. As long as you're good, dude. Like. But the source was anti-Semitic then. Okay. <laughs> I 
I'm just not going to say anything to that joke. But you're worried you're going to get cancelled like that giant diesel dike from fucking Deadpool 2 or Deadpool 1. Is that who got cancelled? Yeah. Uh, the girl that played Negasonic Warhead got No, 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 no. No, no, the other, the, the, the bad guy one. Oh, from the original Deadpool? Yeah, that one, yeah. The one that would, like, beat the shit out of Colossus? Yeah. The lady that was, like, just, just pummeled the snot out of him? Yeah. That's, uh, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> she says fake news. Hmm. Everything's fake news. Um, let's see. Piece one. Where's piece one? It's right here. Next to piece two. Exactly. So I'm trying to think of other shows that I want to... Like, I've been watching Blue Gender right now, okay? So I've been watching, like, an episode, episode or two of that a day. I'm up to episode seven at the moment. Uh, is the next one going in. And I forgot how insane that show is. Um, have you guys seen it at all? Uh, Blue Ginger is still one of my favorite uh, mecha slash sci-fi horror shows. It it is unique in and of to itself. There's nothing quite like it. Yeah, it's it's fucking crazy, dude. Um. So if you haven't seen the show, it's um, essentially about this guy who goes to... He has this illness, and he goes to sleep. Uh, they put him in, like, suspended animation. And uh, A1 and A2. Holy shit, gotta use both screws. Uh, he goes to sleep for an extended period of time. And uh, it's so that the doctors have, you know, time to figure out a cure for his illness. And funny enough, it takes place in the year 2017. <laughs> it was when this guy goes to sleep. The far off distant year of 2017. Um, this is A3. Or A13, yeah. A13. So he goes to sleep, uh, and then he is roused from his sleep uh, when his pod is carried. Uh, through some uh, through some rather nasty terrain uh, inside the medical building he's being rescued uh, to you know so that they can take him up to the space station uh, as part of an, uh, an operation to fight these uh, fight these life forms called the blue which are basically giant bugs with vaginas for faces Actually, yeah, that about sums it up. Um, but it's a really, really messed up show. It's awesome. Um, I'm not gonna. If, if no one's seen it, I won't spoil it. Um, it's just, it's just freaking cool. It is one of those shows you definitely need to watch if you've never seen it because it's, it's wild. It's out there. And you don't have an excuse because I know for a fact you can find all uh, all the episodes with maybe the exception of one might be missing, but you can find them all dubbed and subbed on YouTube. So there's and, no excuse not to watch and it. And on websites like GoGo Anime, Nine Anime, and uh, and the like. The blue but, ginger yeah. seems like a fucking uh, a genre of porn where you're just having a wank over dead pictures of dead Gen Saki. Wow, dude. Wow. Uh, no, but the, the whole twist... Okay, I will give the one major twist in the show, uh, because I think people need to know what the twist is going into it. The disease this guy has uh, will eventually turn him into a blue. That's the twist of the show, is he will eventually become a blue. And that's how they find out, like... Uh, what the blue really are. C14 and piece 4. The blue double D double die double D double die double D double die. Wow. 
Um, I'm also re-watching a show called Angelic Layer. I think I mentioned I was going to. I started re-watching that too. I'm on episode like 8 I think of that. Oh, that was weird. My uh, internet just kind of blipped. Decided to shut off for yeah, it shut off and shut back on. Ah, Thank nice. you for that, Comcast. I appreciate it. Comcast. Serves you right for having Australian internet. Oh wait. <laughs> Farty, don't fool yourself. Hey, Farty. It is in fact Australian internet. <laughs> it gets routed. <laughs> it gets routed down there before it comes back so to the house. I don't understand why fucking VPNs have Australia as a fucking as a choice. I mean, like, yeah, and it's supposed to be so fucking shit. It's like, if you want your shit to lag and fucking be crap, get Australian internet. If you don't want to be able to go on fucking, you know, bloody streaming sites and whatnot, that, you know, like Sail the Seven Seas, get a pick Australia. If you don't want to be you know, able to get onto 4chan and things of that nature, get the Australian one. Oh, yeah, because Australia banned 4chan, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, That's because ridiculous. of that bloke who shot up a mosque in fucking New Zealand. That's ridiculous, dude. Yeah, a bloke shoots up a mosque in New Zealand and we ban 4chan as a result. Like, what the fucking hell? They live in such a wonderful... Was he even... Was he even... Was he on 4chan? No. No, no. Like, honestly, he was just fucking saying random shit just for fucking shits and giggles. Like, you know, he fucking like... even called out PewDiePie for fuck's sake. Uh, she says dinner's done. Take it easy, uh, Lakara. Have a great night. We'll uh, catch you next time. All right, toodles. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. VPNs are weird, though. Like, I uh, my VPN doesn't let me access things like Netflix in in the UK or in other countries because apparently. They can tell I'm using a VPN, and they go, "You're using a proxy service. You're not allowed." <laughs> so I'm just like, "Oh, okay, thanks." Uh, this was a service that was promised to me, and uh, you kind of, you know, reneged on that. Do I get my money back? That's so why I've got my own navy. Fuck the paid services. Yeah. That's that's why I have my own navy too, Farty. I mean, like, especially fucking BBC Worldwide. They're the biggest bunch of fucking assholes on the fucking planet, I tell you. <laughs> like, they refuse to release anything online. Anything that goes on YouTube is their, their property. They fucking guard it like bloody Nazis. Um, it's okay. They're and, going to be going like the way of the dodo soon enough. <laughs> so it's well, okay. Only because the stupid bastards, the only thing that they release overseas that you can actually purchase from any stores is fucking Doctor Bloody Who. And well, they've gone and fucking ruined that for everybody. So <laughs> they've just lost their last revenue stream, pretty or much. So like. You know, when they're cunts like that, it's it's kind of like, well, do you do you wonder why everybody's pirating your shit? Yeah, I won't even be bothered to pirate Red Dwarf anymore. Oh, that reminds me. Didn't they do like another series recently? I think they did a movie, but I don't know. I I I opted to not give a shit anymore. That's something I could go and check out. I think they did that movie about the cat. They were talking about doing an episode about cat where he finds um where he finds his people. Oh yeah, that that was actually one of the books. Yeah, but they were going to turn it they were going to do the episode first, but then um Chris wanted to leave the show to go do um uh Oh, that fucking movie. Uh, what was that fucking movie? Um, he, he left the show to go do... Doom Rider. Rider. And um, instead of, you know, just doing the episode they wanted to, they did the Ace Rimmer episode.
I wonder how he got out of that contract. Bigger studio, had a bigger pockets, better lawyers. Probably. And it was Angelina Jolie, so why the hell not, right? <laughs> I wonder if he, like, got to third base with her. Doubt it. Oh, please. She's a bigger... <laughs> I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Well, she he never complained about being stabbed, so... Oh, okay. Well, maybe he's into that sort of thing. You don't know. <laughs> Well, we can see why she never complained about fucking being me, too. Yeah. She was into it. Um, yeah, I... The last thing Red Dwarf related I watched was the, um... Was the docuseries they put out, and... I don't know, man. I just... I haven't watched anything Red Dwarf. Like I said, I've just... I've given up on pop culture, to be honest. Like, I just... I don't find any enjoyment out of it anymore. I don't find still any... say you should give WandaVision a go. Okay, okay. Let's talk about WandaVision. Um... Do you really want to hear my thoughts? Have you seen it? Yes. Do you want to hear my thoughts? All right. Doku, are you ready? Yeah, hey, go for it. I'm not going to end up watching it anyways. You got your butt plug in? When do I not? Okay. Are, are you ready, Farty? Yeah. WandaVision is shit. It's shit, shit, shit. End of story. <laughs> Eh. I kind of like it how there's not going to be actually any villain. It's just her losing the fucking plot. And I'm reckoning that the next episode's going to be fucking supposedly in the 80s when every cunt's getting divorced and shit like that and Vision's left up um, well, over what this, happened in the end, end of season, uh, episode 5. This episode is, is the 80s. The, the last one, last Friday's episode was 80s. Uh, early eighties, yeah, yeah, early it was early like eighties. It was like a full house type thing. Yeah, and that was, was like that was early. That was early eighties. I, w- I would say mid eighties, maybe was full house. And yeah, family ties. That was really early eighties. Yeah, that was on the verge of the late seventies. Yeah, uh, because the episode before that, um, when she launches. Uh, when she launches the original Captain, or when she launches the original Miss Marvel out of the fucking, out of the bubble, out of the hex bubble. That was a 70s era show, when the babies were born. Eh. Well, fucking, like, well, during the 80s, that was when fucking every cunt's getting divorced and they're uh, making a big old thing about bloody children dealing with their parents divorced and like how how come Tommy's only got one mummy and all this kind of shit yeah. um so like the whole fucking premise of the show really is that, like she lost the plot after fucking um, <laughs> Endgame after died, yeah. Um, yeah, stole his body reanimated him just so that she could have her happy ending and fucking it's, it's basically her Dealing with the fucking trauma, and that's basically well, where I reckon keeping, the, the next episode is going to fucking leave her. She's literally keeping Vision alive with her powers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's kind and of it's... hinted at with the um, with the whole dog situation. Because the dog gets hit by a car, I guess. Uh, they never really tell you what happens. They don't even show you the dog's body because, well, it's Disney. So you have... Um, you have this this uh, lady, like her her friend or whatever, in the show, uh, like the dog is wrapped up in a blanket, and you know she's down in well, some bushes. And... It's absolutely apparent though, because they actually fucking just come out and show you that she steals the body and all this kind of stuff. So she's trying it's to like canon. It's canon on the outside world that Vision is still dead. And, like, if you, you even look at it, too, like, he doesn't act like Vision from the movies. Yeah, he's, like he's, he's kind of he's a different He's sort vision. of, like, 
yeah, it's a, it's more of like what she would like him to be and all this kind of stuff. And I tell you what, if they ever do a fucking a biopic for fucking Rick Mail, they've got to get Paul Bettany to play Rick Mail because Jesus Christ, he's got a lot of fucking mannerisms and stuff like him. Yeah. Um, he, uh, and that that's for I reckon the actual like sort of um, secret sort of thing that everyone hasn't fucking picked up on is that like Wanda's actually really got the hots for Rick Mail and not Vision. Um, <laughs> But no, the, like the next episode, that looks like that she's alone doing the fucking the 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 sort of like you know piece to camera, like the the old MTV reality fucking shows. They started during the nineties, right? And um, like I reckon, like Vision left over like what happened last episode, and this is her sort of letting go finally. She got the happy ending. She had the life, and then now it's sort of like. Then, you know, she's divorced and fucking she's kind of getting over it kind of thing and then that'll lead on to another movie so there's no actual bad guy in it right um I about the only thing that I can say I liked about WandaVision so far I I don't think I'm going to keep watching it if I do keep watching it it it's going to be it's going to be for one reason only and it's because they got the superior, um, the superior actor, uh, the superior, um, uh, Pietro. They got the, uh, yeah. from the fucking, from the Fox movie, um, X-Men movies. And that's about the only thing that that would make me like come back to watch it just to see what they do with it. But that's on, in all honesty, that's not enough to keep me watching. You know, they're obviously Disney doesn't doesn't have a plan for this show. They don't have a plan, and I. Well, it's it's kind of another Captain Marvel in a way where. Fucking, it's 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 leading up to another movie, or another couple of movies. I guess. Um, I just because I... what Wanda's supposed to be in fucking what was it bloody the bloody oh fuck who's the two B grade characters the bloody Winter Soldier and the the Falcon. Falcon yeah, they're supposed to be in the um, Avengers movie, and I guess she's going to be the villain, so they're setting her up as the villain, but. No. No, she's not the villain. Like, like I said, there's no villains in this. Um, but I, um, there's another one that she's supposed to be in as well, or Paul Bettany's supposed to be in, some, something like that. Um, yeah, this is like where, where Captain Marvel was, or Captain Flatass was supposed to be, oh, got to watch this so you'll get Endgame. And they tried to shoehorn in a fucking character there. Okay. This is basically also like Terminator Three. It's like yeah, like the whole plot, the 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 whole story arc is well, Judgment Day happens, and well, this is the one where Judgment Day happens, and this is how it happened, and you know, like just so that you, you know, going forward, you know what, why and how it happened, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, how come John Connor survived? Well, got conned into going into a fucking bunker, you know. But he um. This time it's a virus, not a fucking actual company. Um, yeah, this is just sort of kind of like, well, what happened in the meantime? And then it's just, like, I reckon it's a, yeah, it's it's, it's a it's good in a way because it's different to like, oh, good guy, bad guy, fight, uh, good guy wins. Yeah, this I mean, this time there's no good guys and no bad guys, and they're not going to actually fight and all this kind of stuff. It's just different. I mean, I guess it's okay because it's it's different. It's just. There's not enough there to keep me watching. Like it's not it's not written great. It's it's like actually really badly written. Um and this is my problem with this is my problem with new media is that it's all badly written, horribly scripted. There's no sense of direction with what they're doing with it and they churn it out because they don't have any time to really work on it because they have to churn it out for the next thing. 
and then the audience suffers and the audience and the the saddest thing is the audience doesn't know it's suffering it doesn't know well, at it's first, slowly poisoned the first episode i reckon was fucking um really fucking cringe the first cuz they're actually trying to just, do a cringe comedy yeah the first episode really like the, the first, like, like you said, the first episode kind of tells you what it's about. Uh, it's it's kind of like what you said, where the first episode is a liar, the second episode is, is more of what it's really, what it really is. Uh, and I think in this episode, they, they, or I think in this instance, it tells you up front what it really is. And it just goes out of its way to go, okay, here it is. Have fun. And I, I just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not into it. I could levy all of my criticisms against it, but I, I just think it's really badly written. Although I could I suppose you could defend it by saying, well, it is basically just Wanda, you know, she's lost her fucking mind. And I, and you could defend it that way, and I would give I would give that point I would give that point to people. Like, yeah, okay. But it's it's the same Disney churned out bullshit. That it always has been. Personally, I reckon it's also just a a, a means of using fucking um, Elizabeth <laughs> Olsen as a dress-up doll, so dirty old cunts can perv on it. I guess. <laughs> I, I guess I I don't have any like. Uh, I don't have any comeback for that. You know, she's the least weird one out of the fucking three sisters. I do, the least weird looking one. Yeah, I I do like the way they um they got her to break character, so to speak, in the one episode. That was they do it in every episode. Well, no, like she walks out of the out of the bubble, and she's like, "Stay away from my world," blah blah blah. And I thought that was probably the like the best. Uh, the best scene in the entirety of the show was they they get her to break character and I popped the wrong piece out of the screw again look what you got me doing party no they do it in every episode like the end of the first one she makes the fucking the fat cunt choke because she didn't like what he was saying and then you know she just goes vision help help him." him yeah you know kind of thing and then there's the second one with the beekeeper he comes out of the fucking sewers and she's like, no. nope, not my reality. Fuck off. See you later. And then Yeats fucking um, bloody Monica Rambo out the fucking, yeah. out the thing. And then they, they purposefully show you that it's like, it's not a case of fucking, that things just magically happen. She's actually physically fixed the wall and all that kind of stuff, the damage that was left. Right. So she's absolutely in control. She's not being controlled, and the world is not being controlled by somebody that, else. What I'm what I'm talking about is I like how they make made her like actually leave the environment she created for herself. They made her literally leave her safe space yeah. to tell people to stay out of her safe space. Yeah. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, well, the only co- the only conflict and antagonism in the entire show is just her trying to keep her little reality together, right? And when her subconscious is fighting it the whole way through. Yeah, and that's where I see fucking um, Vision's actual part in it, with the, especially at the end of this episode, is that like um, when Vision starts questioning her and even just floats and starts yelling at her, it's like her own mind sort of questioning, like, is everyone really fucking believing this kind of shit? You know, fucking. Well, you know, the fucking self-doubting and questioning herself. Right, like, you see it in the first episode where Vision's like, oh, here comes our neighbor at, with the exact or with the exact thing we needed. Like, in that, in that one episode, I think it was the last one. Yeah. So... Yeah, I that's mean, her going fucking... It just seems too convenient that such... That, that fucking Miss Sheila shows up all the bloody time. And, um... I, I think I reckon, it's, and that's another I problem quick. I have with the show is that 
they're using Vision as a plot device, and they're they're literally marionetting the dead uh, for for a plot device. And hey. you sitting here going, I, I'm just watching porn, man. Leave me alone. Well, I reckon Quicksilver is actually fucking um, a manifestation of her, her like her actually having having lost the fucking plot. It's it's not really fucking anything that she, when she says, "Oh, hang on, I didn't do that." When he rings the doorbell, it's like she actually did do it, but it's her subconscious fighting right. back against, like, "Oh, well, look, I'll just interject something random. Fuck it, see, look, because it's not me, really." You know? Well, no, they're they're just doing the House of M plot line, but differently. Pretty much, it's what it sounds like. Yeah. Well, so, uh, have you guys have you guys read House of M? No. Nah, but I got the gist of it. Well, what happens in House of M is that uh, Wanda, being daughter of Magneto, uh, she ends up she ends up getting pregnant, and she has uh, I think she has twins. Yeah, that's but, what happens in the show. She has twins, Tom and yeah. Okay, they're definitely they're definitely pulling from House of M because I know uh, I know Elizabeth Olsen wanted to do that plot line, and so in in the uh, House of M comic, she ends up having twins, and something happens. I forget how, but uh, the the twins end up dying. Like there was the original House of M, where it's like all of Magneto's mutants, like Magneto's fucked off to go do whatever, and she's kind of like leading his. Her, well, I guess, like not his, but like her new posse or whatever that kind of comes out of the remnants of all that. But her twins end up dying. Quicksilver ends up dead, and obviously Magneto's nowhere to be found. So because she has like no family, no kids, no nothing left, she literally goes through a mental break and ends up forming reality into something completely different. And like in WandaVision, she has her own, like, she literally warps space and time and reality around her to create well, her perfect world. That would explain why they introduced the the Fox movie version of Quicksilver to kind of blend the two universes together without anyone really noticing. Yeah, well, that's also been pretty much explained, too. Yeah, the, like, you know, X, the X-Men universe is supposed to be coming. Deadpool's supposed to be coming soon sometime in the in one of the Marvel movies. So the, And that crossover has been hinted at for, for quite a while now, too. Well, if they... Well, first off, if they're doing WandaVision, just like with uh, Captain America Civil War, it's going to suck if they actually do bring over uh, X-Men and all the other uh, Fox properties that they had. Because that means they can't do House of M without making it its own well, standalone thing, the, the same way they can't do Civil is, War. The problem is, and here is what I keep trying to get people to understand. When you read the comic books, right? Let's, let's say when you read Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron has a very limited cast, right? Age of Ultron is basically Wolverine trying to figure out how to... Like, he goes back in time to stop Hank Pym from creating Ultron. Right when you read that book, he's all like, "No, dude, Ultron's gonna go on a rampage, and and you're gonna be responsible for fucking the world up." And he tells Hank Pym all this, and Hank Pym just doesn't give a shit because he's Hank Pym, right? So Wolverine is like, he's going through time to figure this out, and there's a very limited cast, right? You have uh, Spider Woman, you have um, appearances from. Uh, uh, what's his face uh, from Spider-Man? You have appearances from um, a couple of other X-Men here and there. You have some appearances from uh, from some of the Avengers, like uh, Hulk, not Hulk, from Thor, right? Uh, yeah, Thor was in it. I, Iron Man was in it. Did Cap? I don't think Captain. Did Captain America show up in the Age of Ultron comic? No, I don't think he did. No, nah, he did not. He made one appearance, but that was at Avengers HQ. When they were discussing strategy, and then after that, they all kind of like went their separate ways, and the whole story focuses on Wolverine time traveling, to like go back in time to kind of fix Ultron's, you know, stranglehold on everything. Well, yeah. If anything, probably... Avengers Endgame has more in common with Age of Ultron than the actual Age of Ultron movie. I'm sorry, Farty. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, they they are fucking. They have been hinting about the multiverse for a fair while now, and um, that's really the only way that they're really going to explain 
fucking bringing in the the X Men universe because well, where the fuck were the X Men during bloody um, uh, uh, the fucking Age of Ultron, the 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 fucking the first Avengers movie, and fucking you know Infinity War and all this kind of shit. If, if um if Wanda doesn't fucking finally absolutely fucking snap and then start bringing in different universes and realities and stuff like that. And uh, they reckon in the next Spider-Man movie that they're going to bring back fucking uh, buddy, fucking what's he, Toby Maguire and the other the other monkey who played Spider-Man because they come from different universes. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Toby Maguire won't do it again. Um, he has really bad claustrophobia, which um, he had trouble wearing the mask to begin with. Um, and uh, Disney said fuck no to Garfield. They didn't want Garfield at all to begin with. That's why they recast, um, uh, what's his name? Well, I don't think they're actually going to be in Spider-Man suits because they reckon it'll take the, 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 it'll distract from, like, having too many Spider-Men and all that kind of shit, but they, apparently they are going to be playing cameos in the next one. Oh, well then that might make sense, but I don't know. Um, what I do know is that, uh... The this is Disney's perfect opportunity to actually do a 100% comic book adaptation, to like actually do um to do at least one story that is exactly as seen in the comics, um, and they could very easily get away with it easily. All they have to do Mike is get and- the right story. My concern is that they're going to run out of ideas and they're going to do something funny with Doctor Strange or the Eternals and start messing around with multiverse shit, and it's going to... Yeah, I, just, I don't like the idea of that. I think it'll be a throwaway scene if they do that. Oh, actually, yeah, that's where the, uh, the other uh, Wanda appearance is going to be in the next fucking uh, Doctor Strange movie, and yes, they have already said that they're going to do multiverse bullshit with that one. Yeah, I don't like the idea of that because... It, it might sound good on paper, but I've seen them fuck up enough that I, I don't trust it. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just... Well, if they let the current directing team and all that kind of stuff, like with John Favreau and, and shit, fucking continue on with what they're trying to do, I reckon it might be alright. It, it might be, but then again, you know... You might not get sick from eating a fucking trash hot dog. <laughs> uh, well, we just got to get you know comfy with the reality that Disney owns everything. Half that was half decent. Whatever we're gonna get is gonna be fucking whatever it is, man. And well, it could be fucking worse. Could be. This will be Captain Marvel. It probably will be. I don't know. I'm just. I'm kind of done with the uh, Disney MCU, anyways. Like after Endgame, I was. I was checked out. The M um, Disney U. Uh. 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 All right. Now I definitely am going to hell. Yeah, I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna let that one go. Good. Good boy, Doku. <laughs> I will right, give you your biscuit later. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like Disney's like run out of ideas, and they're just kind of spitballing shit. Like I don't, I I don't care about it anymore. They ran out of ideas. They got, they don't have enough people to work on all of the projects. Like, and they won't. I don't. They 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 they, they just want everything, and they want everything so bad. They're they're not going to give anything up. I don't think it's a problem that they don't have ideas. It's like, just look at Star Wars. They let too many stupid cunts with stupid ideas fucking have their ideas. Ryan Johnson. Yes. You know what? For the next Star Wars movie, can we get Michael Bay? It might be a shitty movie, but at least there'll be a ton of explosions. Eh, I think that's one that should just be put to bed. They're they're talking about completely eliminating the um, the last three movies from canon. If they 
Well, they if should. they did that and didn't fuck up what they were going to replace it with, I'd probably give a shit. They're talking about bringing Lucas in and having Lucas, uh, using Lucas's treatment. They should, considering how bad they fucked up the, uh, the sequel trilogy. Yeah, but then again, remember the prequels, boys and girls. It's you know still what? better than the sequel trilogy. You know what? I will still defend to the death the prequel trilogy. That was at, it was still George Lucas's baby to do whatever the fuck he wanted with. Well, it's funny. I had that discussion with me idiot brother. Like he, um, he was fucking uh, the, the kind of like oh, I didn't like where it went because it didn't fit in with my narrative. And it was like yeah, well, it's not your fucking story to begin with. Right. It was Lucas's to begin with. And what he chose to do with it was what he chose to do with it. Yeah, you could... I thought I thought they were fine. I thought they were good. Like, they were enjoyable movies. But that I actually don't have a problem opinion. with the sequel trilogy. That's my opinion. I don't expect everyone to have the same opinion. I can tell you why I thought it was a good movie. Just like I'll tell you why I think WandaVision sucks. It's, it's just full of bad writing. Well, yeah, well, having said all of that, too, though, like... I will go ahead and sort of look at it objectively where fucking um, bloody like people said, oh, the acting's wooden and all this kind of shit. And it's like, yeah, but look at where it was. This was back in the days when the Jedi had like rank structure and all this kind of shit. So, of course, it'd be all procedural and, you know, speaking in a foreign fucking sort of way of speaking. Like, you know sort of kind of like describing shit in the queue store. It's like wanking machine, Padre, for the use of kind of bloody... They're not going to be speaking just like, Hey, sleep, yo, slip me some skin, butter! You know, that kind of fucking right. shit. And, um... So, of course, like, people's fucking, you know, acting seem wooden and all this kind of shit. Okay, yeah, sure. So, what, fucking... Lucas could never fucking write dialogue for the life of him. Just take fucking, um... Harrison Ford's fucking take on the original series, it was like, yeah, you can write this shit, but you can't fucking say it. Yeah, um... It, the original, the original trilogy, I, like, I'll watch the original trilogy, I think it's fine, okay? I think it's fine. I think it's entertaining, and that's really, that's really all we can hope for for something, from a movie, is that it be entertaining. If you're entertained by something, fine, well and good and all, um, but I've always maintained that you have to be at least honest about your entertainment. I like some really bad shit. I think I've said this time and again. I know I've told you guys this, uh, that I like some really dumb things and I like them probably because they're dumb, right? I like them because they're entertaining me and I have a, a, a wide range of really, really weird shit that entertains me. Like, and it all comes down to my mood. What mood am I in? Do I want to watch something sappy? Do I want to watch something horror? Do I want to watch something sci-fi? Do I want to watch just something comedy? You know? It all comes down to my mood. It, it should come down to your mood. Like, what do you what do you feel like? You know? Just like having a burger. I don't think you should have the same fucking burger all the time. Right? Just go out and have a cheeseburger. Have a hamburger. Have, you know, pickles. No pickles. You know? Fucking... Uh, mix it up sometimes. You, know you I mean? get the pickles just so as you can take them off and fling them at windows. Yeah, the, kind of the point that I'm <laughs> making. Like our entertain, we should talk about our entertainment. Entertainment. We should be honest about our entertainment. I I enjoyed the prequel trilogy for what it was. For what it's worth, I thought it was well represent, uh, well representative of the universe Lucas was trying to create. Yeah, okay. You you want to be super nitpicky? Cool. Um, the Metachlorian thing is kind of bullshit. It's done. It it's like. But... Well, that I can explain too. Right. I mean, remember remember it was being explained to like a fucking eight year old kid. Right. And like, how do you explain shit that happens in in the body to a fucking kid? Oh, it's it's like your body is like a machine. You know, your heart's the engine, and that goes boom, boom, boom. And if something's going wrong with your heart, it does like you know your pistons are out or some fucking crap like that. It's like the the midichlorians. It's like these little people inside your body, and some people have more than others, and they do funny things and whatnot. 
And then you start growing hair in funny places and thinking about girls. Or unless you're a Catholic priest and it's like, yes, the religion is just like having really old men inside you, but not in the way you're thinking. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, while it might have sounded like shit and all that kind of stuff, I mean, like, you remember, it was being explained to a fucking eight-year-old. Right, I'm not going to hold grudges against anyone for the fucking Metachlorian thing. Yeah, okay, it was kind of dumb. Um, and when you listen to the dialogue, when he's explaining the Metachlorian count to uh, to the dude over the radio, he's like, ooh. It, it, it is really hokey and really hackneyed and... Um, but that's not the point. The point is that you have, like, Lucas was taking into account an entirely new generation of, of viewers, right? That's that's mm. where that comes from. He was taking into account that most of these kids are seeing their very first Star Wars movie. That may not have been the case, but it... The prequel trilogy is for children, okay? It, he wrote it for children. If, if he didn't write it for children, why the fuck would he put Jar Jar Binks in there? Because um, he was supposed to be the secret seat. And that would have been really good if it if it had worked out that way. Hell, if they had, like, if they had worked that into the sequel trilogy... Oh, I just launched a part at myself. Uh, if they worked that into the sequel trilogy, they would have had a much, much more fun writing it. And I would not have been bored out of my fucking skull watching the 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 one movie with what's her face in it. Daisy Ridley, is that her name? Yeah. I, I fell asleep with the with that God, that movie is so boring. Oh. She was in all three of the fucking sequels. I know. The first one was fucking boring. I fell asleep during oh. the commercial for the next one. No joke. Uh, Force Awakens. I didn't ask. The Force for Awakens. A, I didn't ask for a title, Doku. You jerk. Well, too fucking bad. Well, haven't you seen the fucking the the theories on YouTube where fucking they pretty much fucking show that yeah, Jar Jar Binks is a secret Sith. He was supposed to have been in like the story a hell of a lot more, but fucking a whole bunch of neckbeards went. Hey, he's a fucking retard. Hey, he looks like Chelsea Peretti. Hey. So Lucas fucking wrote him out. Yeah, that was that was George Lucas's only mistake, as far as I'm concerned, with the uh, with the prequel trilogy. And then even I'm at best, like who's playing him, who unfortunately copped a heap of shit for no fucking reason. Um, even came out when when that theory was you know put forward, and he's basically said, "Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go." Yeah. It makes way too much sense, especially when you consider the Senate scene. Well, yeah, like the fucking Sith work on deception. Now, fucking deceptive would it be to fucking, you know, he's Jar Jar Binks who hands the fucking Senate to the to the one other bloody Sith in the joint, and every cunt thinks he's just a friggin' retard. When, in fact, he's pulling all the strings. Well, he he would be pulling the strings at the behest of Sidious. Anything about that, though, is that... Well, it, it had to have been... He had to have been a rival Sith. Because... Well, Sidious the ruler was known two and all that training shit. a bunch of people and telling them he was their apprentice, but only having one real apprentice and having a shit ton of backups. And I missed a fucking part. Awesome. Well, that's one thing I really didn't get, though. Is like, if uh, shit. Jar, Jar, Jar Jar was supposed to be a Sith, then how do you explain two other cunts? And then... But he but he Dooku as well. Bunch of people, but uh, fucking fell on the floor. Damn it! Great, now I gotta look for that fucking part. Fuck. Well, the only the only other thing that I really fucking 
didn't like about the, the uh, especially the Phantom Menace, was the use of the term the chosen one. It's like, oh, couldn't you just figure out other bloody words to describe that fucking I, shit? Man, just, yeah. I mean, the word Jedi comes from the Japanese uh, word Jedi Geki, I think, um, which meant drama, which is what the. Um, which is what the Star Wars trilogy was. It was a drama. And, uh... I thought it was a Christmas movie. Oh, that's, that's Die Hard, sorry. Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a romance story about some country bumpkin want the Rudy sister. Well, you know, it could be that, too. Um... But no, it was like the whole the whole thing was like based on an old Japanese movie. Like they he literally just took an old Japanese movie and rewrote this script to be Space Wizards. Yeah. Where's A ten? I need at an Air Force base. Okay. Probably decommissioned at this point. I don't know. Are there still some in service? Oh, shit, yeah. They, really? They're at least going to be hanging around for another 20 years. You think so? Yep. Yep. No, nah, they already they already made that decision like about four or five years ago. Oh, wow. It's because they don't have anything to replace it with. <clears throat> the Warthog is a really nice plane, though. Yeah, well, they, I, I there's a few... Old. I think it's a little... I think it's a little old, though, for service. I don't know. No. No, no. Well, like, there's a, there's a few planes that they're getting as a replacement but as per usual they're nothing fucking uh, like there's like the, the Embraer Super Tucano which is pretty or much a glorified Pilatus PC-9 okay it's um uh, this single engine turboprop fucking light aeroplane that can mount some fucking weapons on the wings problem is you can't really carry that much weaponry and it doesn't have an internal gun. So if you want to carry guns, you, you have an at least one gun pod, which takes up a stores pile. Um, and if you... So and gun pods don't really... supply mission? Well... It, it's... Going more the way of um, cost-effectiveness. Like, okay. you, know, you can that buy and run... Sense, you can buy and run about five or six more fucking Super Tucanos than you can with a fucking an A-10. That being said, you're going to be using five or six more Super Tucanos to do the job of one A-10. Yeah. Sort of kind of the same argument with the F-35. I mean, yes, it can carry bombs, but if you really wanted to blanket bomb something, use 50 of the damn things. Okay, not everyone can afford 50 of those fucking things to begin with. <laughs> So it's just that it's a cheap boat, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, and... They're using it for specific missions. Got it. Yeah, like it's, it's doing the close air support yeah. role. But, you know, the downfalls, there's a lot of, a, a lot of fucking um, compromises going into it. Like, the A-10 had two engines for a reason. Super Tucano's got one. Right. The A-10 was armor-plated in a lot of places for reasons. The Super Tucano's only armored around the... the that's only got armor plating attached to the sides of the fuselage and underneath it. Um, the the A-10... Yeah. The A-10 fucking carried a fuck ton of stores for a very good reason. Super Tucano's don't really. So we're running with the similar arguments with the F-35, which was supposed to replace the A-10 in doing close air support. And it's like, right, well, the F-35 is made out of tissue paper. Um, they don't, like, most models don't carry an internal gun. So you're slinging shit off the wings there. If you're going to still use the stealth capabilities, you can't use an external gun. You're going to have to have fucking maybe four bombs in the fucking the internal bomb bays. And then once you, the shit range, once you get there and you fucking drop your four bombs, you're running back to a fucking a tanker before you can go home in the first place. Whereas the A-10 can get low. It goes fucking slow. It can turn like a bastard because it's slow. Um, so, um, it's highly... 
what you're saying is slow and low that is the tempo for close air support yeah um because well once you've used up all your stores if the enemy is still fucking persisting your your a10 becomes a close a, a forward air um a, a forward air observer because right. it's going low and slow and has basically done several dozen passes over the battlefield and so he's now telling his, his wingmate, you're right, fucking run that burst in that tree line, da 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 and okay, right, come in and go fucking left two. Um, you know, that kind of shit. Right. And they've got the fuel load to, to hang around the battlefield for up to four hours unless uh, without fucking external stores or aerial refueling. Um and they can come in and make those repeated attacks. They can take a bit of battle damage and still get home and all this kind of shit. Whereas your Super Tucanos just won't be able to do the same thing. Okay, I have one question. Doki, what the hell are you doing? Looking up I'm, I'm building an underwater tower in Minecraft, and it's really fucking annoying. Maybe one of these days <laughs> we should play Minecraft on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've... I hate myself for actually downloading this game. I ended up with a free copy of it, and I've been I sitting on it for god long. And I just decided to play it one day, and you're addicted. Now. It's a lot more. It's a lot more addicting than I thought it would be. Yeah. Oh, it's. A, I, I, I kind of hate it. Humanity. What's that party? You should play cards against humanity. See, that's fun to play when you have people to play with. Yeah. Like. There's that because you can just be cheeky we, bastards. We, we tried to play that one time, but no one could figure out how to do it. So I'm like, fuck, all right, whatever. Actually, I played it with uh, with uh, Jesse and Fedorable and them one time, and that that online free version is a pain in the fucking ass. Hey, once you figure it out, though, it's so it's so easy to use, though. It it is, but the problem is you have to figure it out, and then every time you have you do a game, you have to reset the whole thing. Like it's it, it honestly is more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, but it's better. It's easier to do that than it is to try and act, play the actual fucking game online. And they did have an app there for a while that I used to play with people online chat and shit, but I don't I don't even know if that's still a thing anymore. That was years ago. It's never a thing. Shut up, Doku. It was never a thing. Shut up. <laughs> it's always a thing. Come on, man. You know the thing. It, it, you know, talking about the uh, the, 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 the thing. Uh, it, uh, come on, man. All right. So I got the shoulders done, and I got the uh, top of the torso done. Let's go ahead and put it all together. Let's put it all together. Doku, it's your favorite. It did Wing Zero. Wing Zero, in my opinion, is still the... The best Gundam, out of out of every fucking Gundam anime I've ever watched, I still like Wing Zero the most. Forgive the shakiness. Um, my medication gives me what's called essential tremor sometimes. So, uh, Barty will know all about that. He's old. <laughs> it's um, it's old blokes in a nursing home with his wife. Uh oh. And they've been they've been married for like fifty years. I need something. Like drink. A... I'll be right back. Anyway, every night, fucking, you know, the, the, oh, it wasn't his wife, sorry, it was his, his girlfriend he'd met in the fucking nursing home. Anyway, every night they'd meet out at some part of the fucking the garden and they'd just sit and stare at the stars. And this one night, the old bloke didn't show up. This happened for about a week or two and then fucking well, the old lady started getting a bit concerned and went looking for him and found him in another part of the garden with another old lady and she says to the old bloke George how can you do this to me we've been together for so long and all this and George just simply replies with Parkinson's God where do you find oh, these jokes I don't know. I fucked that one up because me, the computer just decided it would just do a fucking brain fart right then. I really wasn't expecting most of that joke to get to air, so I was half thinking, what the fuck's this fucking abortion doing? And, yeah, I missed out a bit on that joke. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it happens. Alright, time for a jerky break. Jerking gear. Some jerky. Yeah, so this stuff is uh, 
from a new brand out here. Um, it's owned by a place called Mariano's. And uh, I had a teriyaki flavor yesterday. That was um, fairly decent. So now I'm going to try this 7 Alarm made with real wood smoke. It's called 7 Alarm. And there's a little picture of a dude on fire. Look at how happy he is. Oh, where he is. Look how happy he is. That looks like a fun time. Yeah. Like that one time you got chlamydia? One time. Oh. There were more? All right. Oh, man, I wish you could smell yeah, it. Party, man. That's why you should. Turkey. And that's why you should fucking watch that bloody Hercules Returns, because they change all the Sheila's names to, like, Chlamydia and Labia and that shit. Wow. Okay, there's a good kick to this. Um, it's covered in uh, chili pepper seeds. It's got a nice flavor to it. Nice and uh, tender. Yeah, it's pretty good. I would say it's more like three or four alarm. There's another one that I got to do an update <laughs> video on too. It's not just the Australian white shit. The Microsoft, you're a bunch of fucking asshole cunts. Yeah. You're going to do a rant on Microsoft? Well, yeah. Like, I never wanted Windows fucking 10 in the bloody first place. It was bad enough that they hijacked your computer for Windows 8. Right. And then never bothered to tell you that there's 90 days that you could go back into the system and then revert it back to Windows 7. Knowing that Windows 8 was that fucking shit that they had to introduce <laughs> a bloody patch so as a fucking... You could be more like Win Windows 7, which it fucking wasn't. Right. It was just Windows 8, just slightly more annoying. And then I find out, like, no shit, like, six hours before this 90-day thing was supposed to expire on my computer, just by happenstance. Right. So, save my computer for Windows 7, and then fucking... Oh, about bloody nine months later or something like that, I wake up in the middle of the fucking night and the computer's like fucking shutting down and restarting. I'm like, what the fuck's going oh, on here? Windows and it's like, 10. surprise, you've got Windows 10, motherfucker! <laughs> How happy are you that it, we gave you an operating system for free? Yeah, one that you didn't <laughs> fucking want is lagging the shit out of your fucking computer because it take, still takes fucking like almost 10 seconds for the fucking Windows bloody button to activate the fucking menu yeah. um and like that was on my old computer and like like i had that one future proof to an to an extent right but yeah like screen died fucking <clears throat> uh, all sorts of shit happened with that one then i've got i've got another laptop now but fucking um <sighs> <clears throat> for some fucking reason but he it doesn't like fucking Firefox anymore. So fucking Firefox is shitting itself regularly. Yeah. But it keeps giving me fucking updates. Oh, yeah, we want you to do an update. No, I don't want to do the fucking update because of the precarious situation my fucking computer's in at the moment. Oh, oh. oh no, we want you to do an update so we're going to lag your fucking system. Yes takes fucking like the whole time i've been talking i've been trying to load a fucking youtube video i'm still getting in the circle of fucking death all right are you sure that's just uh, not your australian internet no it's not the australian internet because well there is a little notification down your knee your device needs to restart i fucking did that yesterday to cure this fucking bullshit <laughs> and this is what's fucking pissing me off lately about it is like the instant you do finally do an update, it goes, oh, we've got another update. Start lagging new shit. All right, I'll do a fucking update. Oh, we've got another one for you. Start lagging your shit. Listen, cunt, fuck off, or I'm going to come around to your fucking... What the fuck? I didn't fucking want that bloody page up. 
Yes, you Bluetooth do. and other devices. I never fucking asked for the settings not responding. Oh, well, no fucking shit, dickhead. I didn't want that fucking page up. Now, let me... Hang on, that just fucked off by itself. Now, what the fucking thing is doing? The bloody... Jesus Christ. It's like the cunts are fucking listening to me. It's like, oh, look, he's going up his bride. Let's just piss the fucking cunt that's probably going to detonate and ruin half the world off even further. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Oh, it is. That's no, fucking oh, not. My balls that hurt. Oh, oh, God. Jesus Christ. What the hell was that? You can't should have seen what just fucking happened. Now it's finally playing the stream on YouTube. Oh, hooray. Because it was starting to lag out in fucking Facebook. So you had to you had to leave Facebook to go on to YouTube. Yep. I just clicked open a new tab and <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's see. So How long is it going to take to get back onto Facebook? Fucking click Facebook. Do, do, do. It's always my fault. Don't you notice? White screen. Still thinking. Still thinking. Still thinking. <laughs> Still. Oh, there we go. And it hasn't stopped thinking yet. Still thinking. Still thinking. Still thinking. Still thinking. Still thinking. And it's still thinking. Hey, party. And here we go. It's still thinking. Hey, party. There we go. It's finally fully loaded. Hey, party. I got a question for you. Uh. Is it still thinking? <laughs> <laughs> well, farting under the covers is no longer called a Dutch oven. It's now a COVID test. If you can smell it or taste it, you're fine. Welcome back, uh, Lakara. How's it going? Now I get to put these little. Oh, look, when I scrolled down the page and Facebook's just decided it's going to shit itself. Again. So, uh. Okay. Well, big to fuck it off. <laughs> is it is it still, uh, thinking, party? Hey? Is, is it still thinking? I gave up. You gave up? <laughs> My internet was being worse than a blonde in a coffee shop. But I'm bomb. That blonde. It's not the internet. Do -do. It's this fucking shit house operating system. Yeah. Or I click. I'll click off the stream on YouTube to send it back to the home page on YouTube. Okay. And just click it then. Did it, and did there it we cooperate? go. Yeah. <laughs> it slightly lagged for a very brief second, but yeah. Oh, crap. See what happens when I, I'll, I'll click on a random video. Drop, this is such a tiny fucking part. Don't drop it, you dickhead. Ah, thank you. And yeah. It's still thinking? Ah. <laughs> There's this fucking shit house operating system. Welcome to Windows. Very there you go, boys and girls. You got a free ring. <laughs> Guess I don't have to make that fucking video anymore. Yeah, we'll just clip it out of this. Uh... We'll find someone to edit this for free because I don't feel like paying anyone. And uh... <laughs> well, that was one thing I was gonna do. I was gonna go through all the streams and stuff and all the 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 half decent belly laughs that fucking. I made fucking over the years. I was gonna fucking clip them all into one super cut, but then that involved going through about a million hours on Dodger streams alone. I'm like, I can't be fucking bothered. Yeah. Party. Uh, you're 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 a gem party. Ask me manic depression. Is it? I have bipolar disorder myself, so uh, yeah. We're 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 two peas in a pod. Doku, he's just the normie. Why do we let you in totally. here? Totally. No mental illness at all. Wait, your mental illness is being around us. 
<laughs> My mental illness is existence. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I just, I just work here. <laughs> I just work here. All right, I gotta make two of these fucking things. So let's see if we're doing this right. All right. Uh. One link goes in here, the other link goes in here. Got it. Oh, I see what it's doing. All right, so this is the entire arm, okay? This is the entire arm, and it forms a skeleton inside the thing, and you put the armor pieces on it. That is reminiscent of some of the newer Master Grade things, uh, some of the newer Master Grade kits. Have a skeleton inside the Gundam itself, and then you just clip the armor onto it. That's really fucking cool. I like that. All right, that's good on you, Bandai. I don't have to trash you tonight. <clears throat> I don't have to trash Bandai tonight, guys. You don't have a trash panda. I don't have that either. <laughs> Dude, I think it would be awesome to have a pet raccoon. Apparently, if you get them when they're young, they actually make good pets. I don't know about. Or all so that. I've been told. I I, again, so. I don't know about all that, but I do know that I would I would love to have a pan or a trash panda as a pet. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind a pet raccoon. I've heard, I've heard foxes and raccoons make, make good pets, but pets. only if you get them as cubs. Um, in Wisconsin, it's illegal to own a fox because they're native to the to the area. Actually, I'm not sure what the laws in Virginia are like. I should probably look into that. Um, I do know in general in in the United States it's in general I don't know I think it's a state by state basis but in general it's not legal to own a wild or what would be considered a wild animal if there is um, a native species of it already in the area <clears throat> I think the exception are um, animals that are already like heavily populated the area like I think raccoons are one of them that's not uh, that's not on that list but foxes definitely because in a lot of instances they're um, they're endangered I wonder why hmm. for these COVID tests <laughs> no 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 COVID test from party Guess not. I guess not. D seven. D seven for the upper arms. Oh wait, no. D seven for the forearms. Okay, so those are gonna drop all the way down into place. Holy crap. Okay, we can do this. Is this D seven? No, that's D one. D seven. They're right in front of me, and I didn't even fucking see them. So Doku, I'm gonna throw you my address tomorrow so you can send me that uh, that model stuff you don't use. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta dig them out of storage. Yeah, I can help you like, take some of that off your hands if you want to send it to me. Oh uh, yeah, dude, no worries. Like I said, it's it's sitting in storage. I just gotta find it. Do you have any painting stuff? Oh, uh, if I had if I had painting, I might have I might have a brush kit somewhere. Oh, I'm looking for an airbrush kit. I need an airbrush. Oh, no, I don't have an airbrush kit. I only had one, and that thing broke, and this was day like years and years and years and years ago. A long time ago, I bought a really cheap, like, a $20 airbrush set. 
really freaking cheap, right? So, like, all it was was an aerosol can, a hookup from the aerosol can to, like, this plastic thing that had, like, um, a cup that sat on the bottom and you just screw the paint into, and it never fucking worked. Oh, I know the ones you're talking about. Yeah, those it things a, sucked. It was a tester's <laughs> kit. Yeah, it was a tester's kit, and I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. No, for a while there, I had a, uh, I had a fairly nice one. I think at the time it was going for... I think retail it was like 120, 140 bucks, but I knew the guy who ran the uh, hobby shop. And this, again, I was like a kid when this happened. I was like one of the youngest people that actually used to do Warhammer uh, 40K and stuff <clears> there. Right. And yeah, again, I guess, I, I don't know, but apparently at the time being being like in third, third, fourth grade and being into Warhammer 40K was kind of a rare thing. And so I would go there and I'd fucking kick the ass out of some of the guys who actually played so they they took a liking to me so this guy gave me a really good deal on an airbrush kit he's the dude that actually taught me how to paint with an airbrush but, that's fucking sweet dude oh yeah he taught well he taught me like all the dry brushing techniques all the ink wash techniques uh, he taught me a lot of shit uh that's, that's fucking sweet dude that's awesome. oh yeah no he yeah no i had a uh at the time i think i was running a blood angels army and i had a ball uh a ball predator and he used that is, but. <laughs> a, a ball predator is essentially a tank but instead of having instead of having like a normal tank turret it had dual twin link chain uh, like gatling guns it it was awesome it was a badass fucking model and so he taught me how to paint using that thing uh just for free and uh the only thing i had to do is i had to play in like a tournament so i was like i was gonna do that anyway so fuck it why not yeah that's cool dude um i like painting miniatures um i don't i've never done it but i like I okay i take that back i did it a couple times when i was playing mech warrior with people um and painting is just so relaxing it is I, honestly my favorite thing about warhammer was being able to paint the models because as time consuming as it is there's something about putting everything together and doing each model in like its own dynamic pose and just thinking what it's going to look like fielded right. and then you see the whole thing painted when it's done it there's ironically it's sort of like it. well it's sort of like fucking minecraft it sucks when you're actually doing it because it takes fucking forever but when it's done it's such a satisfying feeling you play in creative mode man you play in creative mode you take away half of the half of the time consuming stuff and then you're just free to build and that's kind of the reason i don't like doing creative mode though and i actually like survival going out and just doing it yeah doing survival and just going out and doing it myself because it, it it has a certain kind of satisfaction i have a gripe about this model kit now it's a minor mm. gripe, but it's still a gripe um some of the plastic isn't flush and I don't know. If oh, that's, uh, that's annoying. Yeah, it's not flush, so the sprue marks aren't um, aren't getting filed down properly, and I'm filing way too much of the um, too much of the plastic around the the kit itself. Yeah, and that's that's the type of shit you can't really sand down or anything because you'll fuck up I the mean, rest you of can the. Fill it, but it's still like you're still left with the sprue mark. Yeah. Oh, but no, on the airbrush thing, I used to have a really nice, uh, like, $120 kit that the guy sold me for half off. So I got it for 60 bucks. Yeah. And it was it was one of those ones that has, like, the little air compressor on the side of it, so you don't need an aerosol can or anything. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I used to have one a long time ago. The, the thing that sucks is the motor burns out, and the little turbine for the air compressor just basically fucking broke as soon as it seized up when the motor burnt out. Yeah, that'll happen. That's bullshit. Which sucked, because it was a really nice airbrush. Okay, so this is the outside. So it goes like this, and this goes like this. Damn, I actually want to get back into building models and painting again. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Doku. Okay, these guys... It's just thing, like... It's an expensive hobby. Yeah, but it's well worth it, though. 
It is, but I don't know if I think I'm going to spend money on any. Well, first off, all my money's tied up in the stock market anyway, so it's not like I have, all my disposable income goes to stocks. Yeah, it, it's oh, bad. Shit. <laughs> Put this part on backwards. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, here we go. I got it. Man, all okay, right. Look at how big this arm is. This is not an arm. Oh, uh, it is master grade. No, it's a high grade. Oh, it's not a master grade no. kit. Okay. Uh, so here is my RX seventy eight GP or FP something something beta, right? That's a master grade. All right. Uh, the hand broke off of this guy, so I got to fix it. But uh, that's a master grade arm. This is the forearm right here. Here is the forearm on the high grade kit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Actually, shit, you guys. Tiny. Yes. Doku. You guys were talking about Zoids earlier. Uh, yeah, I was uh, running a stream of it uh, live on the Discord server the other day. <clears throat> Did you ever build any of the uh, Zoid bottle kits? I built a Liger Zero once, actually. Okay, did you build like the model kit or the one that had the uh, the motorized the version? Motorized model kit. Dude, I miss those things. You remember? Kodobuyuki you remember the Ultrasaurus? Them. Do they? Yeah, Kodobuyuki still makes you makes them. Just for nostalgia's sake, I might have to buy an Ultrasaurus because I had I had one. That thing took me a minute to put together, but um, damn, Kodobuyuki that thing was the same awesome. Company that makes the uh, the Azra Archer set, which. Uh, if I can get two without knocking everything over, you know what? No. Uh, and the Rayblade Impulse that's over here that I built last uh, last week. Hmm. Yeah. I had uh, one, the, the Mammoth one back in the fucking 80s when they first come out. Oh, wow. The motorized one. Um, Kotobuyukiya also makes this one. It's called the Aerial Assault Woodpecker. Um, it's basically flying armor. Uh, which is how I got this little dude. I didn't. This little dude didn't come with the uh, Rayblade Impulse. There's like a little army guy here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like right here where my hand is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so he came with the um, with the aerial woodpecker, and this is compatible with the Frame Arms girls that I've been looking for. Uh, Doki, you're familiar with Frame Arms Frame Arms girls. Well, this is compatible yeah. with those. Um, and then there's this little uh, rocket booster set that I bought um, that goes along with it as well. Uh, let me get the other leg on here. Uh, and these can double as uh, as Gundam legs, actually, because they've got a 3mm peg right here. Damn. But yeah, it's like a little, it's like a little flying uh, backpack that you can attach to things. And it's got 3mm pegs, so you can hook it up to a Gundam. <laughs> um, I love Kotobuyukiya stuff, man. The only reason I'm doing Gundams is because uh, Kotobuyukiya is kind of expensive. Yeah, they are pricey. Their model kits are fucking beautiful. Like the this thing, man. I haven't even painted this yet. Look at how beautiful this kit is. This is a lovely fucking kit. <laughs> and I want to get the other uh, the other ray blades too. There's more ray blades. Eh, his sword came off. Whatever. Don't care. Alright, so this goes here. This goes here. Um, Alright, now I need... What piece do I need? I need a shoulder or bicep cover. A1-6 and A2-6. Okay. You still with us, Barty? Yeah. Just been kind of quiet. What's wrong, buddy? Oh, who had me, right? That took a lot out of me. Oh, okay. You gotta <laughs> have another beer to fuel up on the next rent, then, huh? <sighs> I'm actually thinking about what I'm gonna have to lunch. Barty, you're always out to lunch. <laughs> oh, when I'm out for breaking. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I think this might be a good time to stop the stream for tonight. 
Um, I'll keep going with the model build over on Facebook, but uh, I think we're going to end on YouTube for the night. Um, if anyone's joining us on YouTube, thanks for hanging out with us. If you want to stick around for the rest of the model build, I'll be over on Facebook. Uh, bullshitting with Doku, if he decides to stay uh, stick around. Uh, talking video games and crap. Yeah, I'll be around for a little while. I want to try to finish this underwater tower. And I want to finish this model kit. <laughs> um, I will be editing oh. video from the Rayblade Impulse build. Um, as soon as I start painting it, I'm going to record that as well. What's up, Party? I was just going to say, yeah, I think I might go and make some ribs. Ribs? Oh, that does sound lovely. Ooh. Sounds absolutely delicious. Can't spell delicious without the word deli. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a fucking... Wait, the supermarket up the road has got their own version of ribs and uh, for some reason they, don't, they just don't cook right I don't know whether there's not enough sauce in it or the sauce is the wrong kind of thing but it's too easy to fuck it up and burn it Okay. but there's this, this other mob that's the same fucking price really and you follow their cooking times to the letter and it's like comes out fucking perfect like no shit the fucking you can't pick it up by the bones because like you know just lifting it by the bones the bones just come away clean nice yeah that's and, when you can tell uh, you got some good ribs oh yeah and you know, like so the, some of the sauce does get burnt to the to the, the, the fucking the oven dish but uh, there's still tons of it left and you got to pull it out 15 minutes uh, into it and then fucking rebaste it and then chuck it back in for another 15 minutes. But Jesus fucking bad. Christ, they're good. That ain't too bad. And uh, now that I've mentioned this, I've already fucking... You're watering at the spoke... mouth. No, I've, I've vocalized it, you know, out in public now. So I'm fucking sure that this will get back to the supermarket up the road and they'll stop fucking stocking it. <laughs> fucking spike. Like, that cunt farty wanted it, and now we're not going to sell it. Anymore, and... Yeah, we're not going to stock it anymore, and then use the excuse, but no one was buying it. I'm like, fucking I was, you cunt! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, isn't that the best... Isn't that the best, Farty? <laughs> well, fucking poops to those cunts. I've already got some in the fridge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fire up the Barbie. <laughs> Just chuck them in the oven. Hey, uh, Doku, I think I know why you like this model kit so much, or this uh, Gundam so much. You ready? <clears throat> you ready? You ready? Murka. <laughs> <laughs> Murka. Explain the yellow we pieces. The frogs gay. <laughs> What's that? Explain the yellow pieces. Uh, Chinese labor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the uh, the communist element now that you got bored me. No, oh, see, that's, boy. that's the golden waves of green. Hang on. Blue, red. Yellow, green. Is there any purple pieces? No. It's all white, gray, red, and blue. Oh, well, the gray area goes for all the other colors of the fucking rainbow. It's a gay Gundam. It's a gay Gundam? Glad I'm not the one that said that. Do you remember the YouTuber It's a Gundam? Yeah. Yeah, he's still around. Yeah, I know. He has a Gundam channel. What does he do? He, has, he builds Gundam kits. He paints them. He reviews Gundam kits. He reviews tools and stuff for making Gundam kits. Huh. I've actually been uh, quite enamored with his uh, offerings lately. 
it's actually kind of spurring me to... I, I considered buying a $50 pair of nippers because of him. Damn. Yeah. All right, I might have to check that out, actually. <laughs> you know what, Doku? You're going to have to give me your address so I can send you out a, a kit and some fireball. Deal. I'll go buy you, like, a high-grade kit. It won't be, like, a good kit or anything. It'll just be a cheap kit, something I can afford. But it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll that's be fine. some fun for you. Hey, I'm cool with that. Actually, I still have... I have some Warhammer uh, models from back, like... Shit, how old are these things? Like, the mid to late 90s, and they've yeah, never been opened. Plastic dust all over my... Wait, you have late 90s models for Warhammer? Yeah. Those are the pewter ones, dude. Yeah, I've got a few pewter ones. I have some of the plastic tanks and shit. Like, uh, stuff they don't make anymore. And they've... Again, they're still in the plastic wrap. I found these things because, uh, uh, my, me and my dad used to, uh, play and build them. He still has, like, a lot of Battlefleet Gothic models, and so do I, and they don't make those things anymore either. Yeah. I, dude, I've got a lot of Warhammer stuff. Like, you know the big, uh, Tupperware tubs you can get from Target? Yeah. I've got at least, at least five of those worth of models that haven't been built, and I probably have another probably about 10 worth of stuff that actually has been built between me and my dad send me some like of that stuff and i'll build it on the stream dude oh yeah dude we've got a we've got a shit ton thing that sucks about the warhammer ones is that it you know with what? those old those old ones kit. i will buy you this exact kit dude i'm down if i can find it maybe i'll even get you a master grade wing zero if I can find it, dude. I used to have. I used to have all the. Uh, I used to have all the uh, Gundams from Gundam Wing. Uh, but out of all of them, Death Scythe I think was my favorite. Okay. Hey Farty, I'm gonna send you some uh, local brew. Any, all right. Anything uh, in particular you're looking for? Like, do you have a particular kind of alcohol you like? Um, a dry or a bitter. Okay. Uh, I think the closest thing to a bitter we have would be like a wit. Or an IPA. There's a lot of IPAs out here. Like, everywhere you fucking look, every microbrew is doing an IPA. Because every bastard out here is like, oh, IPA is the best way to go. And here I think it just tastes like something someone scraped out of some fucking... Someone's jock strap and threw some curry onto. What the hell is an IPA anyway? An Indian Pale Ale. Ugh. It's it's just a it's really hoppy. It it's a lot of hops. It's basically a bitter, but with like curry powder. I mean, you can find some good ones depending on how they do them, but oh, Indian! Oh, let me go. Would you like me to help you with your tech support, Indian, as opposed to ooh, 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 Indian? Ah, uh -huh. yeah. No, IPA started uh, back when uh, the British were uh, going to India to trade spices and shit. They would overhop the beer so it didn't go bad on the trip back. So that's where the uh, whole IPA thing came from. Yeah. And it's, a, it's exclusively an American thing. I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like shit, but I'll send you some. Um, I'll send you also this stuff called OG. It's got a little car cartoon character Godzilla on the can. <laughs> it's like a tea wit. So it might not be like really bitter, but. I think it tastes more like a, like a lager with like maybe extra barley in it. I don't know. It's actually really hard to pin down. I'll send you some, though. I'll send you some local stuff. So many really have about five or six different variants of beer out here. There's a bitter, a dry, a lager, a pilsner, um, an ale, and a, uh, a dark ale. Yeah. Or a stout, or a dark ale. 
Okay, that one was actually pretty spicy. Holy hell. All right. <clears throat> we got no views on YouTube. Ha. Probably because uh, the algorithm's fucking with us. Well, we we really, like, I really fucked the bed, or I really shit the bed when I uh, nuked everything. But then again, that's what happens when you fucking, uh, when you lose your shit. Eh, it you happens, know but... All about that. Yeah, it's... It happens. It's but like, like I said, it's probably just because I skipped a fucking step by date. A seven. YouTube just YouTube doesn't like anybody who isn't. I'm not even gonna chalk, it. chalk it up to YouTube. YouTube has nothing to do with this. Essentially, we we essentially we are an entirely different channel. And YouTube has no, like, no information on our channel yet. Because that's basically what, what happened, was, uh, yeah, it, we're, we're basically an entirely new channel now. Well, it's still even that, like, the algorithm, that's what I mean by the algorithm, it's going to look at it and it's just, <clears throat> it's, it's not going to promote or boost anything. Not until it knows it can trust us. So don't say anything bad about YouTube, okay? Oh, it's a bit light. I've just been spending, what, fucking 20 minutes taking a piss out of Susan with cock sloppy. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes that. It was nice to meet you guys. Farewell. Turns out Susan with cock sloppy's got a fucking kid. <laughs> and I guess a lot of people were giving it like giving him shit about you know your mama jokes and shit like that. So now you can't even type in your mum in fucking the comment section, or else the algorithm's gonna go. No, you might be talking nice about his mother, but no, you said your mum, so no, you you you're insulting his mother, and no, Auntie Susan with cock sloppy doesn't like that because her little crap bastard can't take fucking being insulted on the internet. Fucking soft cock little bastard. <laughs> hey Farty, what exactly is the Australian abbreviation NSW? New South Wales. Okay. And why is it called New South Wales? That's kind of a mouthful, isn't it? Because just like say with things like New England and New Hampshire and all this kind of uh, stuff that was named after a place that actually existed and the place looks a bit like South Wales, so it's New South Wales. Oh, okay. Wales, Scotland? <laughs> Don't say that to the Scottish. <laughs> I know. They fucking hate it. They don't see it as part of Scotland. They see Wales as a completely different fucking country. That's because, effectively, it is. It's in another completely different end of fucking the United Kingdom. It's part of Scotland, though. No, it's not. There's there's fucking Britain so. in between Scotland and bloody I Wales said too. Part of Wales, I said it was part of Scotland because it is. Cause cause I said it is. <laughs> yeah, well that's just like fucking Cuba being a part of the United States. Hey, 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 hey. Who hey, said hey, it wasn't? Don't don't denounce my <laughs> It's all right. Oh, it, no, that's whole just whole like saying the fucking bloody AOC was fucking, you know, <sighs> in threat of being killed by 9-11 because she was on the same fucking planet. In her mind, that's probably closer to the truth than we realize. Where is it? I was in the same galaxy as Tasmania, so I guess that makes me Tasmanian. <laughs> Except I don't have extra fingers and toes, so I can't be. Well, that's just because of the inbreeding party. No, well, Tasmania is just another part of Alabama. It's the Alabama of the way south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it is the deep south. The deep south. That yeah, you think Alabama's bad? In, uh... 
That reminds me of that in joke in Little Nicky. Where are you from? The South? The Deep South. Hey, Tidhead, go with my father. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, I'm gonna go and make some fucking ribs. Get you all that up. Uh, Farty's fucking off, which means. It's just me and Doku now. I know. Uh, Terrible. Have a good night. Later, Farty. Or have a good afternoon. I, I don't know how this works anymore. <laughs> I can't be fucked to figure it out either, so. Well, anyways. Anyways. So what'd you do this weekend, Far or Doku? I was gonna call you Farty. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, fuck. What did I do? It was snowing here, so I. Mm, you raped a goat. Got it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That's that's exactly what I did. I don't know how you knew, but. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just sat around and did nothing, actually, now that I think about it. Really? I did some stock research, listened to some some true scary story compilations. Uh, this one time I went to my grandmother's and she fed me baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what did I do? God damn. You know I cleaned? When you can't even remember what you did. The other thing is I did work, I cleaned, I cooked, I did the dishes. Did you clean again? Had to. Yeah, no, I really didn't do shit now that I think about it. Huh. Fun. I yeah. have to get this thing into the fucking... <sighs> okay, I have another gripe. This is the top part of the foot. They want me to stick this little thing into this. Okay? There's a recess here. Watch. Watch, watch. Okay? Watch. This part has to face down. Right? Because it's the square part, square flat part. Okay? See how it's sitting? See how it's sitting all cockeyed? Mm-hmm. It won't go in. It won't go in. Uh. It's all fucking cockeyed. All right, I think I might have it. I think I might have it. Don't jinx me. I got it. Oh, my God, that was a fucking pain in the ass. All right, uh, you just lur you, you just lost five points, Bandai. I'm not completely digging on this kit yet. This kit is actually pretty awesome so far. This was the minor nuisance. Okay, I don't like that part. But this is a pretty good kit so far, so... I will give it a pass. So you went from 100 to 95 points. Just because of that. You can, you can do better than that, Bandai. I know. I put, I put together better kits. And even though the hands broke on my RX-78, that was my fault. I fucked my beta up. Alright, uh, B-16, B-40, B-14. <clears throat> oh, why did I decide to build so far away from where my forges are? Why did you... Because I'm an idiot. Uh, apparent law. Oh, I... Ooh, that was almost bad. Almost just fell down a cavern. Yay. That would have... Cavern. That would have been uh, fun. Cavernous intent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that... That is annoying. How did I miss this... The fucking... Have you have you built another realm portal yet? No, I haven't because I've been uh, honestly I've just been busy mining and building shit. I actually haven't really done squat in the game as a 
as far as like the actual gameplay goes. You should you should build a nether run portal so you can get soul sand and shit. The thing is, uh, I'm I'm on a new biome right now, but on the on the main one I've been playing on, my like main base fortress, I don't know what you would call it. It okay. it looks like some Lord of the Rings fucking shit that I have going on over there. Okay. But it's right outside of a broken nether realm portal, and if I go north uh, about a uh, hundred, no, no longer though, like 200 squares north, mm -hmm. there's another broken one. Mm -hmm. And if I go about 500 squares southeast-ish, there's, <clears throat> there's a third broken one. Oh, so you can just repair one. Yeah, there's three... Yeah, there's three broken ones all within, like, if I stand... Uh, so the biome I'm in is the, uh... Uh, the mountain... Uh, mountain with, like, the big oak and spruce forests and shit. Right. So if I stand at the top of the, uh... Uh, the mountain that I'm building on, like, I'm building on, like, the middle... middle-ish section. Mm-hmm. But if you go if you go a little bit forward, there is like kind of the peak of the mountain area. If I stand on top of that and I look in one of any three directions, there's another portal within view that's broken. Wow. And yeah, there's and dude. That biome is weird. I started off right a next really to a village. Good roll, dude. When you started that game, you got a really good roll. Oh, here's the thing. I started next to a pretty good sized village, and I went. Literally over over a mountain and through a forest that had a bunch of like uh, woods. wait what <laughs> yeah pretty yeah pretty much no seriously like you go up this mountain I cut off all the trees and then it goes it goes down on like an almost sheer cliff face and it's it looked like forest for pretty much as far as you could see all like dark oak oak then it cleared open to like uh, birch wood there's like a lake and some shit in the middle of it with a bunch of flowers. And you go a little bit further and then over another mountain range. And there's another village over there, which is where I'm currently building. And, like, dude, I've already, I found, like, six emeralds by accident digging through that fucking area. Nice, dude, nice. Yeah, though, no, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, it is a really good roll. Like, there are... Uh, there was like an entire underground lake that met a lava lake that gave me about like five or six stacks of obsidian. Dude, I got a booger. <laughs> That's always fun. But yeah, dude, there's a shit ton of villages and a uh, shit yeah, ton of emeralds. God roll, dude. No, it's a really good seed. A I've run across one, two, three, four. Four, five, five villages and one abandoned village, and that's just in the course of like end game time. If you ran from like for one day and one night from one part to the other, you'd run across like about five villages. Dude, I would make that my main. <clears throat> oh, it is. Like actually, shit. Um, I'm gonna just finish this real quick, and I'll actually show you all. Uh, all. Uh, share the screen. Oh, I'm recording my, my model build right now. That would fuck it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, just take a screenshot for me, though. Yeah, I'll show you. Or or when you're done with your model build, if I'm still awake, I'll show you. Because it's, yeah. it's not something you can really screenshot because it, uh, I'm building shit on way too large of a scale. Because I decided, fuck it, I'm just going to put everything on peaceful, even though I'm in survival, and just build. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm getting close to the end of just the, the main build. It's, like, I'm I'm basically done with the main mech. I just have to build the legs up, out. So I made the... Oh, uh, on those kits, the legs usually don't take too long, either. No, they're, they're usually pretty hollow. Um, let's see. A... Need B23, B12, piece 
Although honestly, that that seed, as good as it is, I don't think is actually my favorite. I have another one that's like mountain and jungle at the same time. <clears throat> right. If you put if you put that shit on just normal, it is like playing a game of fucking Resident Evil in <laughs> Minecraft. Like it's Resident Evil in the forest. Nice. There's only one village and it's abandoned and cop occupied by spiders. <laughs> everything else everything else is just the zombies spawn, but they never despawn because the forest is so fucking thick that there's no sunlight. The only option I had was literally to build a dirt hut underneath a tree and just hide. Yeah. Which uh, obviously doesn't help with the, uh... Uh, what are the teleporting bastards? Uh, the Endermen? Yeah, that those fuckers have a bad <clears throat> habit of, like, I'll look out through the door and there'll be one and they'll just see me, and it'll just teleport in. I'm gonna come get you. It... It's it's annoying because where I decided to build, I didn't realize there was a cavern. <laughs> and the end of so, like hanging out in those caverns too. Shit. Yeah, no, so it uh, I was streaming it with uh Jensen and Yorkie. They were just watching, like we we're just bullshitting on Discord. We weren't actually like live. And for a good like five minutes it was me trying to run through the cavern to get back to where I was hiding. <sighs> But the Enderman just kept fucking teleporting after me. It was, it was a shit show. It was not a fun time. Yeah, if you don't look at them, like, they won't just, come after uh, you. They're one of those. Yeah, that's the problem. Is there must have been like at least three or four. You don't look directly. at That's them. the problem. There's. Well, I looked directly at one and started running in the opposite direction, and then there was another one. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. So it was like I can run. I can run in front of me or behind me, and there wasn't really any way out, and I was stuck in the middle of a fucking cavern. One way or the being, other. I must be. Yeah, being chased by two Endermen. I it was, uh... Now. My planet needs me. <laughs> no, literally the only way I escaped is by standing on a fucking rock in the middle of the ocean. I just had to abandon everything. Wow. Yeah, That's when I said it was like... Off. Like, when you forget where, like... Where you go out and you're like, shit, where did I come from? And like, the base that you had built or the house you had built for yourself? Like, mm -hmm. you don't know where it is anymore and you're like, fuck, well, I may as well just start over. Well, no, that's exactly what happened because this biome, all the trees are at least like eight, nine blocks tall. That ain't bad. <clears throat> yeah, except they're all on the side of a mountain and a cliffside, so it's literally just forest like you can't see shit you can get lost really fucking easy uh, too bad you're not on creative mode you could just turn the fly cheat on and be like Wee -wee. i've debated it so many times but me being me being a hard-headed asshole it's like no i've come this far i will prevent you will and die multiple <clears throat> That and also it doesn't help in that biome that everywhere you run there's always those fucking little berry bushes that kill you. A14. Is this A14? That is A14, alright. I was gonna 3D print uh, a diorama for this thing, but I think I'm just gonna um, get some uh, styrene and just start scratch building one. Just gonna leave it as is, or...? No, like, get some styrene plastic and scratch build, like, a diorama display. Oh, that actually, that actually sounds like fun. It's gonna be time-consuming, but yeah. I, I don't I, That, and it could double as the set, because I wanted to do that stop-motion thing, and it could double as that. Actually, that's a good idea. Hmm. Oh... Why does glass take so long to fucking make? Because you're playing Minecraft. <laughs> and it takes longer Actually, to make in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking annoying. And of course I decided to build at the bottom of the ocean, so I need a lot of glass. Well, there's a lot of sand at the bottom of the ocean, too, so you can just, like, literally swim outside and get it. Oh, the sand isn't the problem, it's the fucking furnaces take fucking forever. Yeah, but it's easy to get is my point. 
Oh yeah, it's easy as shit to get. Just takes forever to make sand in the glass. Oh no, I'm drowning. That's oh, fun. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Please, wait. <laughs> Stop. Come back. You remember that scene in Willy Wonka? <laughs> Oh, no, please stop. Wait, come back. Don't do that. Did I do this right? Okay, I've got this. And this goes like this. And that goes in. No, that's backwards. That's backwards, Chief. <clears throat> this is the right one. Okay. I think I figured it out. And then this one goes in here. Hooray. Oh, that dolphin better swim out, because otherwise he's going to get stuck inside of here. Am I at least staying in frame this time? I want to be staying in frame. Uh, yep, you're good. Okay, this goes into this guy. I think. Wait. No, this goes into this guy. Whoa, hey! <laughs> that almost went flying. Well, that that wouldn't be good. Well, it was actually a larger part, so it would have been okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you lose the tiny ones, that that's always a bitch. Yeah, especially with the high-grade kits, they're 1 one forty four, so everything is, like, ultra-tiny. So you're, like, putting together this kit, and the pieces are, like, this big, they're as big as a pinhead. And you're like handling it and it goes all over the place and it flies off and you're all like, no, I swallowed one on accident. Why? <clears throat> um, all right, so now I need a two and a 18. A 18. Hmm. Huh, what? I seem to have run into a mild problem. Uh, what is that mild problem? The water inside the tower is not draining. Ah, that's an easy fix. Um, time consuming, but easy. I can tell you how to do it. That would be appreciated. Okay, so you take a whole bunch of blocks and you fill it in. You fill in the water area that you're trying to drain with every square possible. Every square, you fill that bitch in. <laughs> and there you go. It's easy, but it's time consuming. Oh, that's gonna require a lot of dirt. Um, so I did an underwater base once where it was just glass. Like all the window, all the walls were glass. That's exactly what I just did. And um, it was about 400 blocks square, or 400 blocks cubed. Uh, so you can imagine the scale was quite massive indeed. And uh, <laughs> I put this thing together, and um, I had to fill up, down, left and right, side to side, front and back, 400 blocks of shit so I could get rid of all the water that was in there. And I topped oh. it all off by putting down a marble floor. <laughs> there... This is weird. There are... There are fish stuck inside the glass blocks. That is a bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Um... That's a bug, dude. I think they spawned inside the glass block. You know how you get rid of them? Run away and let them despawn? No, you break the block. And then yeah. you quickly put the block back in before the water comes rushing in and pushes you out of the way. <laughs> oh, now they're... Now they're outside of the block. Okay. Um... um. <laughs> All right, well, that's the thing. You know the thing. The, the thing. 
right, where Come the on, hell man. Is it? Where the hell is it? God fucking damn. There's only four of those little pieces in this fucking kit. Where'd it go? I need my piece. <clears throat> Doku, what I dropped the my piece. Well, that's not good. I fucking need it. The fuck is this? It Holy is. shit, this is a big ass cavern. Where is it? Where'd it go? <laughs> I need my piece. Oh, fuck me. Um, okay, if you really want to. Oh, I... Did you misspeak? Uh... <clears throat> no, I just... I just fell... into... a cavern. Did you fall into oblivion? Yes. Yes, I did. I... I fell... I didn't die, but I fell very, very much the far way down. And I don't have a pickaxe. <laughs> I could go down the hole. <laughs> I found it. I found it. Dude, I found uh, it. Oh, there's... I watched some guy kit bash um, a Gundam kit into one of those aliens from Toy Story. Thanks. It was really cool, actually. I think this is the right hole. Yeah, it looks like the right hole. And if it ain't, well, I want my money back. I... I am I am in the abyss. I have fallen into the abyss. You're in the world under the world. Oh, that's where all the oh. men come from, by the way. Well, that's... Good to know. Yeah, you're about to get gang raped, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, there's a way out. There is a way out. Okay. Uh, you gotta oof. do it before the Endermen show up, because they do not fuck around, dude. Yeah, no, um... I am back on the surface. Oh, did I mess this up? I messed this up, shit. Okay, hang on. Oh, all this... I feel like I'm playing a game of Tomb Raider. All the sand in front of me just collapsed into another cavern. Yeah. I'm not going to go that direction. Yeah, Where are. the fuck did I... Yeah, you are. Where the hell am I? Oh, that's a... Okay, that's a covering. That's a covering that goes there. Okay. Holy crap, am I this far away? Yes, yes you are. <laughs> what? I don't think I went that far, but damn. Okay, yeah, no, never mind. I'm... Okay. I'm much further away than I thought I was going to be. Uh... Further away. Okay. Yeah, that, uh... Well, that's a thing that happened. Did I screw up again? I sure as hell did. <laughs> wow, okay. So I was right. This did go inside the leg. I was just wrong about the positioning. Oh, crap. Oh, she just loved that. Cracker. This goes in here, like this. Closes up like that, dude. This has got really cool calf. I like the design of this leg, dude. I am not kidding. I'm probably gonna get another kit, another one of these kits, just to kit bash the legs onto something. Hey, if it's that good of a kit, you might as well. I just like the legs on this. This the legs on this are fucking beautiful. Oh, it's gonna look so good when I when I weather it. 
paint it. Maybe I'll get a scribe tool and just like etch some detail into it. Yeah, I'm telling you, you should get an Epion kit. You'll you'll probably like it a lot. I like the kits with a lot of gimmicks on it. Like I e like my RX seventy eight kit because it's got um here, let me show you. <laughs> I haven't showed this off yet. So watch. You watching dokes? Mm-hmm. Alright, so here is the kit. The torso comes off. Right? And then it's just the waist and legs. Okay? Just the waist and legs. We'll set that to the side for the moment. Then it's just this guy. This separates if I can do this without breaking anything. This whole thing separates. This whole thing separates. Thank you. Folds out. This. There we go. And boom, you got yourself a core fighter. Okay, yeah, that... Yeah, that, yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> I, I like that. That's pretty cool. I can't be bothered to put that together, so I'm just going to set it off to the side for now. And then we'll worry about it at a later date. Alright, so this guy has got to go in here like so. Come on, dude. Get, get in the fucking hole. Because <clears throat> I don't want to take the whole thing completely apart to potentially ruin the the parts in there. All right, got it. I did it, Doku. Praise me. Success. Yes. Of course. I am no short of awesome. All right, A17. <clears throat> yep, there it is, the boot cover. God damn, dude, I heard that one. Yeah. Did it taste good? Always. I guess I actually tried to hold that one back, too. That's the sad part. <laughs> it was just too uh it was too big for that world. It needed to go into a different world. But now that it's gone it will be missed. <clears throat> to be fair, it's also probably because I stuffed my face this uh this evening. A five. Where's A five? There's A five. Did you stuff your face? Oh yeah. I've been marinating uh a salmon fillet for 24 hours and damn did it turn out good well I'm happy that you're happy he said snarkily I would be happier if I didn't have to dig a shit ton of sand to get rid of all that water well you do and <laughs> it's gonna be fun though because you get to break all that shit when you're done <clears throat> oh yeah I'm gonna I'm I'm going to go through quite a few shovels. I know that much. That's why I placed uh creative, man. You never break the shovels. Hey, again, maybe and it's because I'm hard-headed or You can still turn it off too, like using the GM commands. Oops. You can always turn it yeah. off too. Yeah, but again, I'm I'm hard-headed and I like to do things the hard-headed way. The Doku way. Yep. It cannot be easy. <laughs> okay, that is clipped. I am down to the wire here, dude. Like, I'm not going to do worry about any of the backpack stuff tonight. I just want to finish the main Mac. And then go to sleep for, like, another 15 hours. 
show what time is it. Damn, yeah, it's actually late. I didn't realize how late it was. Where'd my... Okay, there it is. Oh my god, I started spazzing for a second. Where'd my leg go? Thought you lost something? Yeah, my leg was sitting over here, and because it's mostly white, it blended in with the uh, sprue sheet there. And I'm like, no! <clears throat> oh, why? Why are you lagging? Why is it lagging? Because it doesn't like you. Please no lag. Okay, there we go. We're good again. Oh, this needs to. Yep, that can stay there. Yeah, and there's some other gimmicks that it has, like um, the RX78 beta. You can there's a different set of these uh, chest vents. There's an open set of vents mm -hmm. where the core fighter, uh, the core fighter intake can poke through from. Oh. Yeah, it's really cool, dude. Yeah, that actually that sounds like a pretty nice model kit. Yeah, unfortunately I broke the hand, so I got to replace it and then fix the hands. But it won't be too bad because it's a cheap kit. It's a very cheap kit, actually. Like, you can find that kit for if you find it for any more than fifty bucks, you paid way too much. Damn. By comparison, yeah, that is pretty cheap. I mean, for how much some of those kits used to go for? It is an older master grade kit, though, so like it's machined differently. God, I'm getting Iron Man vibes from this. No wonder why you like this kit so much. You Iron Man fanboy. Actually, I've never been an Iron Man fan. Uh-huh. Says the fanboy. Trying to hide his fanboyness. <laughs> nah, in my opinion, Tony Stark was always kind of a crap character. The comic book Tony Stark was better, though. All right, now I get to make the waist, and I can put. The I know the comic book Tony Stark was better. I'm gonna make the waist, and then I'm going to bed. All right, where do we start do here? A twenty-three, D six, A twenty-five. Yeah, because it's a little after nine o'clock, I think. <clears throat> I'm currently engaged, so I can't see what I'm looking at. I'm gonna need this. I already know how this part goes. I've built the wastes for many a Gundam kit so far. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> like basically, does sand provide like does sand provide like air bubbles or some shit because it's not killing me even though I'm down here uh, I can't tell you that I don't know odd I mean I'm not complaining it means this is just gonna be a lot faster yeah <clears throat> okay and then I need what part again Where is that? There it is. <clears throat> I found it. <clears throat> yeah, the, the great thing about Gundam kits is once you put one together, like once you put one of the waste together, you put them all together. They yeah, they're, they're, they're all pretty much the same. Basically the same way. And I like when a when a series has a standard across it. So this is going to go in here. Okay, yep, that goes in there. And then this goes on to Like that. And that 
looks... Okay, that's because that's crooked. You ever see a show called Divergence Eve? <clears throat> For some reason it sounds familiar, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll marathon that tomorrow night. Works for me. I don't have anything to... I don't think I have anything to tomorrow, I should say. I'll load it up. Aside from... Right around 11.30 your time. Works for me. <clears throat> Maybe 12. Uh, it, it all depends on when I get in. So that sits there like this. And then I can put this in. I um, tend to trim because these uh, these little front skirts come with a little connector in in between them, and they move as one part normally. And I just I clip that out because I'd rather have these move independently. I used to leave them alone though. Like I have um, I have a Son Goku Gundam somewhere around here. Uh, that's a one one forty four scale two as well, and. Um, that um, has the skirt still connected as one piece. Hmm. <clears throat> but I'll go back and I'll trim that out eventually. Eventually. At some point in the future when you actually feel like it. One, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, I'm almost done with the main mech, and then I can do armaments and whatnot later. <clears throat> so I have that together. This is the C1, and this can go into here. Does it go flat or upright? It goes in flat. <clears throat> oh, lovely. goes like that. This can go like this. This is a really cool looking kit. Oh, it's the Wing Zero. Damn, it better be. And I'll actually make the wings for it tomorrow. And then that plugs into here. And this plugs into there. And that gets a ball joint. Doku, it gets a ball joint. A ball joint? A ball joint. So it has somewhere to get kicked. <clears throat> Clip. Clip. And that's one sprue done, sprue. Look at how much I have left over still. There's like a lot, dude. Yeah, you still have a lot of stuff to do. And that's all just the uh, core fighter and the weapons. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a lot to do. Oh, dude, that is so satisfying. Hear that final click of the main unit. It's one of the nice things about the uh, snap together models is you get that. Oh, this one's actually pretty solid. Like. I'm giving it a good shake, and it's not flopping around. Uh, so, I, I kind of like, but I kind of also dislike the Bandai Spirits, this being my first one. Um, I dislike it because some of the parts are really hard to line up. But overall, this looks like a good kit. Uh, I really do enjoy this guy. I can't wait to finish the rest of it, but it's going to have to wait, so... Uh, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, and uh, we'll see you again on the next stream. So, peace.